In my video yesterday, I stressed how peat formation or accumulation and then the coalification of that peat was primarily due to the anoxic bog-like conditions of the swampy forests of the Carboniferous. And I had many curious questions in the comments below saying, hey, wasn't this due to the fungal or fungi decomposers basically evolving the ability to digest lignin, which halted that peat accumulation process, essentially stopping trees from preserving and decaying and rotting them? And this is kind of true because white rot fungi did evolve during the early Permian and at that point lignin based coal or peat would have all decayed. But the issue we have is most of the coal that we find in the Carboniferous wasn't from lignin rich plants. New research shows that the plants that were there at that time were lacopsids and lacopsids only had a small portion of lignin. In fact most of it was made from this cortical tissue type material which isn't a lignin polymer. Therefore, it makes no difference whether they did or didn't evolve during the Carboniferous, they wouldn't have eaten those particular plants. But here's where things get even more interesting. And by the way, this is the paper, so go read it, it's free to access. Um, there's evidence to show that there were decomposers during the Carboniferous that could digest lignin. Lignin itself has changed over the millions and millions of years, and back then the lignin was a lot easier to digest compared to later Cenozoic time periods. Which is what I'm going to get onto now, because this graph behind me nicely shows you the difference. If white rot fungi was primarily responsible for stopping the coalification process, then why is coal still being formed in the Cenozoic? in the last 150 million years. And in fact, the amount of coal that was being created in the Cenozoic was equal to that of the Carboniferous, just not as widespread. See, the reason why is because most of the coalification process was geographic, tectonic, and geologically driven. Widespread swampy marshes meant gigatons and gigatons and billions of gigatons of peat was accumulated across the entirety of this landmass. Compare that to the Cenozoic coal productions, which are very, very sporadic and localized to different regions where they had swamps, that's the reason why we don't find these extensive coal beds in later periods. So while white rock fungi and fungi in general did have a place, the fact that we have coal both before and after their lignin decomposing abilities shows that it can't be the main driver. I hope you found that useful and the clarification was helpful. If you like this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.